often told that um, Islam is a religion of peace and tolerance, and certainly we see uh, a great deal of that today in the West. Um, the uh, Muslim friends seem to have a desire to live in harmony with us because, quite frankly, they are in the minority. But when we read the Quran, there's very little tolerance uh, in the Quran to <laughs> live in peace and harmony with, um, with your neighbor, your Christian neighbors, your Jewish neighbors, uh, or uh, those who are a religious minority. I often ask the question to uh, Muslims and have never really, I, I, I did get one answer from one individual who was honest enough when I asked him, would you want to be treated like the Christians are in Pakistan? And uh, I think we can begin to say that about Nigeria, in northern Nigeria. Would you want to be treated uh, as the Christians are in northern Nigeria? In fact, um, Nigeria is becoming uh, a, a country known for its uh, religious persecution of Christians or uh, the Islamic persecution of Christians. And we see this basically in um, Surah 930, and I'm going to read it for you, although the print here is pretty small. But the Jews say that, um, you know, Ezra is the son of Allah. And there's a challenge right there, is can uh, any Muslim uh, show us where uh, uh, the Jews ever said that Ezra was the son of Allah? And of course, I maintain that Allah is nowhere to be found in either the um, Christian or Islamic scriptures. I know that the word is you, the word for God uh, is translated Allah in um, in the Arabic Bible, but uh, that is uh, that is becoming problematic for the um, uh, Christians in um, I believe it is. Uh, Oh, Indonesia, or maybe Malaysia, but uh, it's either one of those countries where uh, Christians are not allowed to use the word Allah in regard when they speak of God. And so uh, it is basically, uh, we have our Muslim friends talking out of both sides of their mouth when they uh, say that Allah is in the Bible, and yet he, he isn't. The uh, sacred name for, uh, for God is, in the Old Testament is Yahweh and of course the sacred name for uh, uh, in the Quran for God is Allah the God the deity and of course as we say if when we recite the Quran there is no deity save Allah and I will not uh, comment on the rest of what it says but we do have this uh, this theme throughout the Quran of the persecution of Christians. And when we look at Islam, when we understand Islam, if you want to understand the heart of Islam, you have to understand that Islam is nothing more than a polemic against Christianity. It denies all the core tenets of, uh, of Christianity. It denies the uh, uh, that Jesus is the only begotten. It denies that uh, Jesus died on a cross and there, therefore denying the atonement. It denies the triunity of God. Uh, and like I say, it's only raison d'etre is basically is to, uh, to attack Christianity. And um, one of the uh, middle or uh, middle ages, early middle ages, uh, church fathers said, that Christianity was, or rather that Islam was nothing more than a, a Christian cult, a, a Christian uh, perversion of the, um, of the gospel. And with this, uh, when, you, when you look at what, it, what is said here and compare it, what did Jesus say about his enemies? He said that we are to love our enemies and pray for those who persecute us. And so, uh, for the Muslim challenges, you know, who would you rather follow? Jesus, who was meek and lowly and humble, 
and whose yoke is easy, or do you follow, uh, or do you wish to follow Muhammad, who laid a heavy burden on you, a burden, uh, the burden of the Sharia, which you cannot follow. It's impossible. I looked at some of the things that uh, you have to do on the way you go into the toilet and the way you come out of the toilet, the way you clean yourself. I mean, these things. Uh, I, I don't know how anyone can could continually live by that standard. And yet we have, as believers, uh, the yoke of Jesus, which is easy and light. And we have, you know, faith and confidence in him that if we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Again, thank for watching. Have a great day and may God bless. And remember, Jesus Christ is Lord and every knee shall bow and every tongue confess that truly he is Lord.